If you save the world, we can do it in the asshole. I'll be right back. In Blade Trinity, Wesley Snipes had difficulties with the production team, and at one point was even unwilling to open his eyes for the camera. As a result, in a morgue scene, CGI eyes were used for him. In Raiders of the Lost Ark, when Indiana threatens to blow up the Ark, a fly lands on Paul Freeman and crawls into his mouth. It looks like he swallows it. Director Steven Spielberg noticed it while editing and thought it was funny, so he cut out the part where the fly exits Freeman's mouth. In the Borat movie, the villagers in Borat's village weren't actors. They were tricked into thinking that Sasha Baron Cohen was a journalist. After the film's release, the villagers wanted to sue Sasha Baron Cohen, even sending him death threats for his character portraying them as rapists and prostitutes. These are Orkin, the town rapist. Naughty, naughty. In Avengers Endgame, Drax is seen wearing a shirt during the funeral scene. This is the only occasion that he has ever worn something over his chest in the MCU, as stated in Guardians of the Galaxy by him that he has sensitive nipples. I have sensitive nipples. <laughs> Meanwhile, Groot's standing there with his twigs and berries out for all the world to see. In Jaws, a shooting star is visible in the background when Chief Brody was loading his gun. Steven Spielberg said this was completely a coincidence and not an optical effect. If you save the world, we can do it in the asshole. In Kingsman the Secret Service, the princess offers Eggsy to do it in the bum if he saves the world. After he returns, the code to unlock her door is 2625, which spells anal on a number pad. In the Lost World Jurassic Park, the man who's eaten by the T-Rex because he tried to push on a pull door is the film's screenwriter, David Koop. He is also listed in the credits as Unlucky Bastard. In Kingpin, Bill Murray plays the infamous pro bowler Ernie McCracken. In addition to improvising nearly all of his lines, Murray actually bowled three strikes in a row on camera to a live audience in one take. Their thunderous applause was real. In the docking scene in Interstellar, one can notice that Matthew McConaughey tries to push his head in the opposite direction of the spin, while Anne Hathaway keeps her towards the spin, resulting in her blacking out. A subtle detail to show how Matthew's the more experienced one. This is a Halloween mask! No, the killer dude from Halloween! Oh, you mean Jason? No! In Baby Driver, this bank robbery scene was supposed to include the Michael Myers from Halloween, but the studio couldn't get the rights. Director Edgar Wright reaches out to Mike Myers and asked if they could use his likeness for the masks. He thought it would be funny and said yes. Near the end of the movie Tombstone, Doc Holliday played by the Val Kilmer is seen laying on his deathbed looking at his bare feet. He laughs and says, that's funny because he always thought he would die with his boots on, as in a gunfight. Oh, this is funny. Did you notice in Men in Black when Kay and Jay visit Edgar's wife, the lemonade is so bad that Jay spits it out. The lemonade is bitter because Edgar ate all the sugar earlier in the movie. More. In The Godfather, Marlon Brando wanted Vito Corleone to look like a bulldog, so he stuffed his cheeks with cotton during rehearsal. However, in the actual movie, he wore special dentures. In Austin Powers' International Man of Mystery, the shushing scene between Dr. Evil and his son Scott was improvised. They're gonna get a- Shh. I- sh I'm just- Knock, knock. Who's there? Shh. In Shrek, Lord Farquaad gets an erection under the blanket as he looks at the princess. You can actually see the blanket rise before he hides it. In Thor The Dark World, Natalie Portman couldn't make it to reshoot the final kiss scene. When asked to choose from a lineup of women to take her place, Chris Hemsworth instead brought in his wife, who wore Natalie's clothes and wig to shoot the final kiss. Did you know in Hercules, Hades announces the remaining runtime of the movie? After Hercules chops off one of Hydra's heads seemingly killing the beast, Hades' two cronies start shaking with nerves. Hades tells the two to calm down by saying, Guys, relax. 
guess it's only half time. The timestamp at which Hades says this is 46 minutes and 32 seconds into the movie, and with a runtime of 93 minutes and 12 seconds, Hades says it's half time at pretty much the exact halfway mark of the movie. Guys, relax. It's only half time. In Cheech and Chong's Up in Smoke, the dog who eats Chong's burrito when they are in Tijuana was unscripted. It was a local stray that wandered into the frame, took the burrito, and walked away. Cheech and Chong just ad-libbed around it, and the scene stayed in the movie. Hey! Son of a In What We Do in the Shadows, the man who plays Stu is not an actor, but actually a part-time business analyst. He was hired for the film under the impression that he would be working on computers and that he would play a small part in the film. He didn't even know he had a major role until he watched it for the first time. Can we see a movie of a sunrise? Well, oh, shit. Ooh, nice. In Joker, the joke book contains a story about a person who died on the sidewalk with others walking right over him. He later references it on the Murray Franklin show. If it was me dying on the sidewalk, you'd walk right over me. I pass you every day and you don't notice me. In Venom, Tom Hardy improvised the funny moment where Eddie Brock climbs into the lobster tank. It originally wasn't in the script, but when he saw the tank on set, he told the director that he wanted to include it in the scene. In Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy, before shooting the milk scene, Will Ferrell was asked to pick his prop for the scene. He saw the milk and thought it was funny. After multiple takes in the hot LA sun, the milk started going bad, leading to this iconic line. Milk was a bad choice. James Stewart wasn't supposed to start crying when he was praying at the bar in It's a Wonderful Life. He had recently returned from World War II and was overcome with emotion. Director Frank Capra later reframed and blew up the shot because he wanted to catch that expression on Stewart's face. This is why the shot looks so grainy compared with the rest of the film. Show me the way. Have you ever wondered why Peter Quill could understand Groot and all the other aliens in Guardians of the Galaxy? It's because he has a translator implant. I am Groot. You said that. I am Groot. Well, that's just as fascinating as the first 89 times you told me that. In Hot Fuzz, when raising his glass to the memory of Eve and Martin, Timothy Dalton briefly looks into the camera. Edgar Wright considered editing it out, but thought it was so funny that he added the sound of a cash register to call attention to it. Didn't that be drink to their memories? Of course. Cheers. I find it amusing in Deadpool 2 when Wade realizes where the shot came from by noticing how the blood splattered on the camera. It's funny how he picks up on this through the fourth wall, faster than he processes the direction of the sound and the blood splatter. In the final scene of Wally, -E, Alaska no longer exists a subtle and final nod to the film's subplots on climate change. In Everything Everywhere All at Once, actual footage of Michelle Yeoh on the red carpet for the premiere of Crazy Rich Asians appears in the movie. She played the role of Eleanor Sung Young in Crazy Rich Asians. 